Hi, this segment is about finishing up um, a cup. I've already had a centering video and a, another video on sinking the well, spreading the floor, raising the walls. So this last one, or this next one, is going to be about having this little effect in here, um, shaping the cup, finishing it, uh, forming it. And I'm not going to trim it. I don't trim these. Uh, it's just easier to to just not trim them. Um, if you want to trim them, you can, but uh, I, I used to do that. I don't do it as much anymore. Um, and then on another video, I'll, I'll show how I pull a handle on here. This cup has been salt fired, a little liner glaze in there, nice little orange peel, just a little bit of orange flashing slip, and then this other orange. I just got lucky in having that happen too without any slip or anything. Um, and here we go. I'll go a little faster, I'll do it all in one shot, I'll center again, open it all up. Try not to bore you. I try not to talk that much. I know it looks like I'm using a lot of water, but I'm not. Um, and plus, I get my moves down, do them fairly efficiently and fast enough, so where the this you know this, the clay or this pot is not just sitting in wa a bunch of water for a long period of time. If it took me like eight minutes or 15 minutes to make this cup, then yeah, I'd be using too much water. But I'm gonna get this done in a timely manner, so. I'll be able to pick this cup right off the wheel without any problem. Okay, I'll give one more pull. Now the cup that I showed you is ended up being about four and a half inches in height after it was fired. The cup was fired to cone six. Cone six salt. And so it's four and a half inches in height. So this cup is probably five and a half to six inches in height right now and it'll shrink that much. So let's take all that any excess water out of there. And what I'll do is I'll bring this in just a tiny bit more so it has this hourglass shape. And the hourglass shape, I'm gonna put the handle right here and it's gonna come down and end right about here. Then this indentation is hourglass shape. Then there's a place for my fingers to go or my hand to go. If it was just straight down or it bulged out, then that handle would have to be bigger. And a lot of those handles just look awkward. So that's why the hourglass shape. And the effect that I like to do on here is just to create movement uh, in the cup so your eye draws around. So, make a little undercut. I'm not worried about the rim. Uh, it'll never spin again. I don't mind that it has a looseness to it, a controlled casualness. Um, That's it. That's the cup.